Hey, what's up guys? Stephen Calls of Mac here, and to celebrate the release of Apple's latest operating system, Mac OS Sierra, here are five handy features you may not know exist. So let's get started. Photos has greatly improved over what used to be Apple's iPhoto software. And in Mac OS Sierra, there's a new effect in the photos editing window called Brilliance. It's kind of like the magic wand within the iOS photo editing tools and can be used to increase contrast, brighten up dark areas and to bring down highlights. It's also built into the automatic enhance tool, which means your photos will now pop more than ever. Mac OS Sierra brings Apple Pay to the Mac. It's a feature that Apple has spoken about in length allowing you to buy online quickly and safely, using your iPhone or Apple Watch to authenticate payments. But cleverly, Safari can actually be instructed by web pages to show or hide Apple Pay buttons depending on the proximity of an Apple Pay approved device. So if you haven't got an Apple Watch or iPhone nearby when browsing a site, you may instruct your Mac to make the Apple Pay buttons disappear, then reappear when your devices are close enough. With the release of iOS 10, you're now able to share notes through messages, Twitter and many more. Well, with macOS Sierra, you're able to do that too. Click the share button at the top of the notes window and choose to share via Twitter, messages or simply copy the note to paste elsewhere. One of my favourite new features for macOS is picture in picture. You can have a small video window from sites like YouTube and Vimeo playing over any of your windows so you can carry on watching your favourite videos whilst working or browsing the web. The video window will automatically snap to one of the corners of the screen and if you try and move it elsewhere, it will stick to the nearest corner. But if you'd rather have it free floating, simply hold down the command key and you'll be able to place it anywhere you like. Probably not a game changer, but useful nonetheless. Last but not least, you can use Siri on the Mac to take control of system settings including brightening or darkening your screen, turning Wi-Fi on or off and much more. Simply turn on Siri by clicking on it in the dock, clicking the icon in the upper right of the toolbar or holding down command and space. Other system settings Siri can take care of include putting your Mac to sleep or starting the screensaver. Well, that's it for this video, but macOS Sierra is available to download today, so make sure to check out our other macOS Sierra tutorials on the channel and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single video. I'll catch you in the next one.